The disease occurs primarily in the warm season, virtually disappearing in the winter. This fact led to studies of bird populations at various times throughout the year. At selected sites, the investigators set up mist nets of strong silk, but nearly invisible. Birds flying into the nets become entangled and are easily taken, uninjured. Each bird is banded with an aluminum ring bearing an identifying number. Many individuals are captured again and again, providing information on the increase or decrease of virus in their blood at different times. A specimen of blood is taken for serologic testing, and the bird is immediately released. The results so far indicate that there is a seasonal increase of virus following the breeding period, when the wild bird population is at its peak. Also, since the adult mosquito population is greatest during the warm season, this further accounts for encephalitis as a summer disease. Epidemiologic surveys can predict the possibility of epidemics by measuring the virus level in the bird and mosquito populations in a given area. Blood sampling and subsequent serologic testing of wild birds is important. But use of sentinel flocks of chickens is more efficient for extensive studies. This flock is maintained in a pen that combines a mosquito trap as an integral part. It makes little difference how the flock is maintained as long as blood samples are taken regularly and checked by complement fixation, hemagglutination, and neutralization tests. Mosquitoes are collected alive from as many sources as possible, from horses and from humans. From shaded resting places around man-made structures. A suction tube is employed for this type of collecting. For mass collections, the New Jersey light trap is useful if a source of electricity is available. Newer modifications of this trap are light in weight and battery powered, enabling their use in more remote areas. Other types of traps are those baited with live chickens. The bird may be secured with strips of cloth, or contained in a small cage within the main trap. In some areas, lard can traps baited with carbon dioxide in the form of dry ice have been effective. These traps also are useful in remote areas. Whatever the method used for collection, the mosquitoes must be kept alive until they reach the laboratory. To accomplish this, the cages are covered with a cool, damp cloth for transporting from the field. At the field laboratory, the specimens are anesthetized with chloroform for sorting, which must be done quickly since it is important that the specimens reach the central laboratory as soon as possible. The collection is sorted by species. Each species is placed in a separate label tube. The tubes are sealed by flaming, packed in dry ice, and shipped to the central laboratory for virus determination. Here the specimens are ground with a mixture of normal serum and antibiotics to produce a suspension.
After centrifugation, the supernatant is injected intracerebrally into laboratory mice. After a suitable incubation period, the mice are observed for signs of encephalitis. This mouse is normal, indicating that the mosquitoes in that sample were negative. This mouse demonstrates positive signs of the disease. These also are positive. When it has been determined that the mosquitoes in the area are infected with encephalitis virus, action is taken to control them. Natural breeding places such as stagnant ponds, marshes, and overflow water due to faulty irrigation practices can produce millions of mosquito larvae. Larviciding all such areas is a first step. It is an effective but temporary measure to control mosquitoes. The newer larvicides in pellet form are useful in areas having thick vegetation, since the pellets will fall through the plant growth and reach the water. Wide areas of swamp or marshland are best larvicided from airplanes. The use of predatory minnows, such as gambusia, is recommended where poisons may endanger livestock or pets. Standing water must be eliminated, for only a small amount can support thousands of mosquito larvae. Fogging kills adult mosquitoes, but the results are only temporary. Even the best control measures will not kill all the mosquitoes. But well-fitted screens will keep most of them out of the home. Those that do get in can be killed with aerosol bombs. Where mosquitoes cannot be avoided, repellent should be applied before exposure to their bites. Pre-planned control measures actually are more economical in areas served by irrigation systems. Accurate grading in field preparation, carefully controlled and intelligent use of water, will prevent the formation of mosquito breeding in low areas. Well-designed drain ditches will keep water moving and avoid sluggish flow. Control of encephalitis has become one of the most urgent of communicable disease problems. Vaccines have been produced which are effective for horses, but human vaccination programs are not practical at present. Reduction of mosquitoes appears to be the only approach to the control of encephalitis today. But investigation and research conducted by state and federal health and medical agencies are progressing toward more positive means of prevention and control.